And good evening. Welcome to the Ray Court EMS One Cup number two of the full season 2013 week 37, 93 days till Christmas. You know where we are by now, anyway. Hopefully. Hopefully. Uh, with myself, Red Eye, and of course, alongside me once more is Pansy for Cup number two. Um, cup number one, you know, if you look at it on paper, Pans, you look at it and go, Ninjas in Pyjamas won, Cup 1, that was pretty obvious. But it was not straightforward. No, it certainly wasn't. Well worth the catch-up on the VODs, um, if you didn't see it. They got yep. a little bit pushed there, I've yep. got to say. They felt a little bit, uh, not not such a walk in the park for once. It was an uh, interesting game to watch, and yes. uh, it's, it's nice to see. And they have been pushed a couple of times recently. Jesus Christ. Okay, that was Things a bit, are loud. That, that was a bit loud. I love that, Lamb. That was a bit loud. Uh, yeah. we no, are, we they, are, they've been pushed a lot recently. They have, yeah. We are going to drop you into the game uh, in just a moment. Uh, they're not too far away, I don't no. think, from being able to go live. Although at the moment, I can only see four on from my XMG. Ooh. And I also see someone Ooh. in the side this evening that could prove fun. Uh, let us know if the game sounds too loud because I need to adjust them uh, now. Pansy right ear, red eye left ear. Really? We've got a new setup. You might have been able to notice. Okay. We'll work on that, guys. We're, all right. Uh, yeah, that's that's quite that's bizarre. Out. I don't yeah. quite know what that's all about. Nope. But uh, if we can get someone up here from tech, we'll uh, we'll try and get it fixed. But um, it's, yeah. yeah, it's some sort of new setup here. This is a very temporary situation, by the way, in Studio Four. Uh, hopefully next week. In fact, definitely next week, we're going to yep. be back downstairs in either Studio Two or Studio Three. Uh, studio Four is uh, sort of. Um, uh, it's a smaller setup. Uh, it's more manual, so we have to do the production, which is bad because when I do production, things tend to break. You can't even travel, let I alone know. produce. I, I can't even actually move. That's I mean, what the Zimmer I, frames for. I, I'm, if I move anywhere, <laughs> at any kind of speed, you know, on transport of any kind, uh, that transport is doomed. Uh, which is why yes. they tend to put me on a separate airplane compared to everyone else. Uh, but yeah, there's something there's something been oddly changed, and uh, mm. if we can get someone from Tech up here to fix it, we will. If not, sorry, but you're gonna have to bear with it for today. Uh, but we'll definitely get it fixed before. We will blame tomorrow. Apollo Colaris. Uh, I love the fact that you guys are sort of discussing the whole audio issues. Um, it doesn't help because I have absolutely <laughs> no idea how to fix it. I will need someone of a technical persuasion yeah. uh, to come and help us out. We can press buttons, but it never goes well. Like I spilled Red Bull over, over a PC downstairs. Did you? No, boss. I didn't. I did. I I spilled almost a whole can over the PC. Somehow it Damn still it. worked and it's fine. But yeah, I I'm not allowed okay. to touch things, and neither is he. So uh, okay. Uh, apparently they want us to change seats <laughs> so that it at least makes sense. No, we're just going to no. troll you because that'll make it change funny. headsets. Um, if we the really only have thing to. I want you to do right now is just let us know in the Twitch chat if you can hear the game sounds and if they're okay compared to our voices or they're too loud or too yeah. too high. Because um, once we're in game, that's it. I can't do anything about it. Um, I've got to do it right now. Um, mm, Nick's fun. too low. Well, the only thing I can do is do that a little bit, but that's that's pretty much all I can do. I can't do anything. I don't else even know what that. you've done. Mm. Twiddled your knob a bit. <laughs> it's going one of those days already. Oh I'm sorry. I'm s it literally is. Uh, game too days. loud. Okay. Game too loud. That's a bonus. Yeah, it is a bonus because I was <laughs> thinking it was going to be too quiet. Um, so yeah. Uh, <laughs> mm, if you could yeah. see what we're, we're seeing, yeah, you'd, you'd have okay. a great deal of fun. Uh, game sounds so just a bit loud. Okay, I beg your pardon. Um, I don't actually know how to change the sound level. S but underscore volume, I believe, or it might just be volume. Oh, yeah. Oh, good, no, 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 volume. No? Just volume. Is it? Just volume. Just volume? Oh, yeah. okay, yeah, you're right. Uh, it's been a while. Uh, so we're on and point you don't want me to make jokes at you, and you say things like this. Alright, let's try that then. Uh, my escape key's broken as well. I'm having a really good time of it. We're having a fantastic time here today, guys. It's PG. Uh, so apparently you're mixed too quiet. I'm gonna just, I'm just gonna turn you up full blast. Turn me down. See now I can't hear you though, which uh, is a bit. Yeah, that's not gonna it's work. It's not then, going it? well. Uh, DJ Red Eye is failing parlously. Hmm. Um, You'll just have to shout, right? Do I really have yeah. to? I was quite happy being shout fairly very quiet. loud. If you See, need now lessons. it's even going a little bit red. It's angry at me. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I if don't you, like it. If you, if you can pop downstairs and just uh, hook up with Apollo for a half an hour. I don't want to hook up with Apollo, please. Let me finish. Let, let, <laughs> let, let him teach you how let to him shout. Because he's shouting so loud from two floors down, I can actually hear him up I here. I heard Shox is good at finishing people off, according to certain oh goodness. in a different stream. Uh, right, let's move on swiftly before we get into a lot of trouble. Before we Shox have, attacks me. Uh, <laughs> ten players on the server, and we are about to go live, so... Let's get you into the game, whilst also taking a simultaneous screenshot for the lols. 
Uh, this first game will be my XMG versus Team Refuse, and we uh, are underway in the knife round. We're not going to do any stupid knife rounds today. We're going to no, do we them sensibly. See, now the, the thing is, ignoring the knife round, there's actually something fairly interesting to take note towards yes. my XMG. First of all, that man right there. Yes. Lovely timing. Even got the Zalmo tank on. <laughs> liking that. Um, so he's back in the lineup that he shouldn't necessarily be oh. in, which is a bit weird, but where's Critical? Yeah, I, Last think, I time, think it might be Critical. I hope it is. I, I do like him. He's a good guy. Yeah, I think he might just be critical but controlling us. That but, aside, yeah. there was a certain snake that was missing last time around. Red Snake was not able to play. And, yeah. well, my XMG felt the brunt of that as they did manage to lose out to, I think it's Solemn or Solomon. I don't know how you want to pronounce that. It's the Finnish team there. They lost 13 16. So they certainly kind of missed out there in the first cup. They had a really rough start to it. But maybe this is their full lineup, or they're certainly not going to lose out by having Rational Snake. So <laughs> even if it is him. Um, it, they should now be at full strength, so we should be able to see actually what they're made of here. I mean, you know, if somehow Rattlesnake had replaced Critical in this lineup, <laughs> no, I don't think so. No. Uh, also, the guys, because they've not changed their names back to you know proper team names, they're going to get called whatever they are on the server. I like to call them Bob. Uh, so this is a lesson for all pro players because I, <laughs> I just I I think it's a ridiculous state of affairs if you don't put your real game name in there. Uh, because then when, you know, we call something and you get some oh, wow. weird name in there, then um, it kind of sucks, doesn't it? I mean, we've got bit. a guy in here called Don't Worry Child. Don't you worry, child. Don't you worry, don't Didn't you worry, Didn't need the singing. Did not need the right. singing. Uh, we also have uh, KGR, Emmy, Kassad, and uh, YNK. Well, they, they mostly have their lineup. So yeah, it's Kassad, Nico, yeah. King, I believe, yeah. YNK, and EMI. So yeah. you can kind of work it out, yeah. I guess. Still. It is Rattlesnake, apparently Critical Species oh. broke. Oh, okay. There you go, so why don't you take us into the first round as we are into the pistols. I think we are underway. So, uh, the big man Sam is uh, in the MyXMG lineup, and it's actually refused to get the opening two kills in the pistol round. Remember, this is best of one, so pistol rounds really do count. Especially on Inferno for t side. We know that they have the advantage. But can they push it forward now? 5v3. Uh, chance here for Refuse to nail another one, and they do pick up two kills in a row. And in fact, they're only down to one last man standing. He's going to be finished off, and they haven't lost a single player in the round. And that is round one to Refuse. Dangerous start as well. Refuse had a shaky start to the last cup, but they managed to clearly turn up this time. They are on the T side, let's bear in mind. So there's a little bit of a bonus, but the execution there? Absolutely fantastic. Not losing a player pretty much throughout all that. So you can't be upset with that one. Obviously, Refuse will get the bonus of the money, the weapons, and that little bit of momentum behind them. And we are going to be seeing what they can bring into the second round here, up against the English side of my XMG. Just uh, for those of you joining us just now, uh, we have already said we uh, can't fix any of the sound issues. We are given what we're given. Uh, so uh, sound issues will persist, unfortunately. I'm sorry for that, but uh, they cannot be fixed with what we have uh, right now. We will try and turn up the volume a little bit, though. Yeah, we can, we, we'll do what we can, but it is fairly limited. But the first frag has actually gone to my XMG this time. Kassad is down, but the vast majority of the T-side are now flying towards that B-bomb side. Kors picking up one to YNK, but uh, not going to get any more right now. As finally refused to get a couple of kills on the board. One being a team kill. Not ideal, but a lovely shot through the smoke there. And uh, Refuse are kind of gaining control here. Zed desperately tagged up, backing away. Red Snake picking up the mantle and looking to try and deny the plant. They're not going to go for the plan, they're going to go for the push, and it's well, it's paid off again. Not the first right through the smoke was enough, it's the second. EMI finding onto PAL there, as now it's a 2v1, and Zed just sneaking in, trying to find a way through here. 1v2, with just a pistol. They're actually completely unaware where he is, but with 25 seconds remaining, you can still do this. Oh, they're going hunting, he could be in trouble. Now going down, it is time for Zed to peer up. He does get the first shot, but EMI's there laying in wait. Wait for the bomb to go down and then collected the kill. But a good round coming in from my XMG there. Didn't deny the plant, but did manage to get a good couple of kills and did the best they could. Yes. So, uh, that should have been a straightforward round, but they've lost three frags, which is better than they did in the pistol round. Um, yeah. It's kind of weird, really. A little bit um, backwards. Yeah, didn't get a single kill in that opening round, and then there we go. They're on to the uh, 
gun round against pistols and they pick up three frags. So expensive start. Oh, a little bit of a push here from Red Snake. He's going to be smacked down by Kassad straight away. And Refuse will be looking to turn this one into a three nothing advantage. They're going to dispose of Powell here with the Galil. And uh, Emmy now down mid picks up the kill with the AK. So last man standing is caused and this should be. 3-0 in the bag for Team Refuse. He's going to push down Banana now. It's all going to be in vain. And that will be 3-0. So now we can start the game properly with the first gun round for the Brits. Yeah, indeed. Finally get to see them with a little bit of firepower beside them, which I've, I've been waiting to see. I want to see what these guys can do. My XMG, I, I don't know if we're going to see the full potential behind them, because obviously Critical not being there, bit of a loss. The man is so vocal for a side. But Rattlesnake certainly someone who can pick up where he may be leaving off. So he's not going to be uh, lacking in that capability. But a big push from Refuse this time. Up second mid, looking towards A. And this time Red Snake not being challenged immediately. But uh, spoke too soon, he is. And he's done just the same. Takes out KGR. Now YNK feeling like he wants to take the same path. Refuse edging through apartments. They try to take it on and they've done just that. Avenging that first kill. Powell is out of there. Where are they going to take it though? They've still got a lot of time left. One minute on the board. They don't have to commit here, and I don't think they are. EMI, Cassad, and YNK looking down mid now. Going to flash up over towards Banana, possibly. But will the bomb follow? That's what we're watching right now. Two players still remain at A for the CT side. Zed so seems aware that there might be something happening towards them. Playing it smart. And now Rattlesnake receives a couple of shots next to him. Not overly responding. Come under the pressure, but you can see the T side is looking towards B now, rather than hitting up A. The bomb's still meandering around in the hands of Don't, is what I'm going to call him now. I cannot use that entire name. <laughs> <laughs> just splitting the attention of the CTs, try and get a kill into one of the bomb sites more than anything. So, Don't just peering around. Red Snake is only steps away, so could be in trouble. See Cause trying to be uh, into the action, but, well, dealt with Kassad quite easily, so surely they're going to commit now to A. Well, with Rattlesnake doing that, it's not going to be the best of situations. EMI's now down. YNK pushing towards the site. He has taken down Red Snake. Bomb now can be planted. I do believe it will be straight away. Rattlesnake going to not go straight through the smoke. Playing it smart. Cautiously doing it. Big round for these guys. 3v2. YNK, 9 HP. Don't on 24. Don't goes peering round. Finds cause. Good work there. But where are the other two? They are coming from the other side now. Down by Pit, Zed is edging in. YNK does get one. Looks for the second. He knows he's there. He knows Rattlesnake's around, but he's not the man you want to be challenging on 100 HP. Rattlesnake can do this, but I think he's getting the hell out of there. He's not going to get... He wouldn't have had time, I can imagine. And going to play it safe and try and save for the next round. But uh, not an impressive hold there from the CT side. They got kind of worked down. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's easy for us. We can see that they had 7 and 24 health uh, each, and that uh, actually Rattlesnake had a... A decent chance of taking that one, but he didn't know what we knew, obviously. obviously. <laughs> uh, so made it much harder. I, I think in the end, he probably probably did the best he could do uh, with getting out of there mm -hmm. with a gun. But disappointing start for the Brits. And not really surprising, is it? I mean, they've lost their main guy. Yep. Uh, they've been replaced by a great player, but who hasn't played together. And it, it, Counter Strike is a game of, of gel. You need gel. You need people to be in tune with each other. And it's going to be different as well, because Rattlesnake's used to calling. I can't imagine he's going to be calling this evening, but there'll be a temptation, I'm sure, from him to be saying, guys, we should really do this, we should really do that, we should split B, we should go mid. And he can't do that in a team that he's not used to. I mean, he, he'll have played but with some of the players Surely Critical before, would but be the one calling and as I, well. And I think so Critical would. So maybe there is a natural spot. But it's an interesting dynamic, Definitely. but I think it's also going to be very difficult uh, for them this evening. We've seen that in the first four rounds. There's been a tough start, but they are going to now push in towards Banana. First man rushes in, Cause will pick up the kill on YNK, and in towards the bombsite they go. Zed's actually inside the goldfish, but they haven't spotted him! He's picked up the first kill, going to get the second? He can pick up two! EMI does get it one, air, one back in that before Red Snake shuts down uh, Emmy, and now Cassad is the last man standing here in a 3v1, and on Banana now. Bomb is on the B site, so the corner's already been made, all three players Waiting. There is uh, one man just guarding Powell here, guarding CT Arch, mainly just because he doesn't know whether that last player is on the rotation. He isn't. He's sitting at the top of Banana right now. 15 seconds remaining. Just looking for exit kills more than anything else. Red Snake will shut him down, though, and that will be the first round on the board from my XMG. Much better with a couple of big kills from Zed inside the Goldfish Pond. Uh, I do want to 
just uh, answer one of the questions that was in the chat earlier on, which was, uh, one question was, why do we each take a round? I'll tell you why, because we're both play-by-play -play casters, <laughs> uh, and it, otherwise we end up tripping over each other and talking over each other all the what time. What are you trying to say? Hey, I'm well, trying to no, talk no, over no, you. No, You're not trying to talk over me now. What, what the hell? Uh, just like that. So... It's just easier if we take a round a piece. If we were colour plus play by play, we would of course be doing it very differently. Yeah, indeed. But it does seem as though Refuse are going to go for a massive push towards that CT Arch, and well, they got the opening kill, but Rattlesnake lays him away. He's got two gets oh, three, the hat trick of kills. And I thought it was against an eco, but no, they have full guns, and they just got absolutely annihilated. Zed quickly on the rotate, finds the MI. And that is a lovely played out round by my, my SMG. I cannot speak. But anyway, the fact is, Rattlesnake, even though he is stepping into this, he's not, you know, necessarily critical. He may not be the same player. He certainly found his role here. He's got four kills on the board. Three from that last round. It's looking a bit healthier now for the uh, British team. Made up of four uh, XMG players and, of course, one from Salvo. <laughs> Interesting that we haven't seen the Birmingham Salvo in CSGO before, of course. Old CGS team, former world champions. Winners of half a million dollars back in 2008. Team Refuse now, after winning the opening four rounds, finding themselves a little bit at sea in the last two. Now on a mixed buy. So a couple of Galils and an AK amongst them, which they're still dangerous with. YNK now popping round. Oh, lovely little flash off the wall. He's not going to fall for that one, though, and he does pick up the kill on the Rattlesnake before Red Snake comes back in on YNK. They're literally trading. A frag for a frag right now. Cause jumps out, picks off an AK kill onto one of the refuse players who was flashed, I believe, just outside CT Arch. Now they've got a man that's very low here. Uh, Kasadi's on 13 health, but they have evened it up to a 2v2. Looks like they're going to try and attack the covered site here. Zed just on the rotation, back through mid and in towards the bomb site. Now Kasadi's going to smoke out quad whilst caused edges his way in towards the bomb site. There is a man to the right hand side and he hasn't spotted him just yet. If he if he goes out now, Kasad, he'll win this battle. He's now gonna lay down the smack. Oh, that's brilliant from Refuse. Fantastic crossfires laid up and a really, really well executed crossfire to win the round after the bomb plant. Refuse lead 5-2. Yeah, needed that round as well. The money situation was not brilliant. You saw a couple of Galils, as you mentioned, and they made it work. Th that after plant was clinically played out. Lovely crossfire setup. Anyway, as we can see at 5-2 to two in favour to the T side currently. My XMG trailing behind. But then again, we are seeing Rattlesnake with that AWP. Now, that is what I want to be seeing. But slow around from Refuse. Taking the time, not overly pushing anywhere. They haven't done that second mid push we saw the first couple of rounds. Let's see what they have in store here. See, they're just waiting out, waiting for that one pick, that one smoke to go into place. Whatever it takes for them to really edge into this. A little bit of a cautious buy from Cause there. You can see he's only running with uh, a Famous. Not sure what Red Snake's got. It might just be down to a pistol as well. They do only have two rounds to the CT side, which is a little bit dire. Flash is going out. 50 seconds now. Refuse really playing the clock down. Bomb is down banana, but there's certainly enough time to get a rotate on if they want to. And I think we're going to see just that. Couple of flashes placed at B. The vast amount heading towards A. Trying to keep the uh, pace a little bit offset. Cause did find KGR, the one player who was there. But now the little boiler room comes EMI. Finds Powell, looking now to make the push count towards A. And that Molotov down towards the big pit. Refuse now engulfing the bomb side. Will they find Red Snake? He is laying in wait, but two players now fall to the hands of Don't. Rattlesnake and Red Snake. The both snakes have been taken out as Cause and Zed. The only two standing for the CT side. And, well, got a long way to go. They were the B defenders, and uh, they're just getting the hell out of there now, it seems. Cause is having absolutely none of it. And I believe Zed will be doing just the same thing. So, another really shaky round from uh, my XMG, if anything. Bombs should go off and, well, refuse only losing KGR there. Make it uh, YNK as well as they are going to be pushing into the eyes of Z. He's got two. Not going to get the third. And a couple of exit kills for him. But, uh, yeah, cause the only man standing now. Bomb will go off. And a bit of a... A bit of a well-executed round from refuse, but another sloppy one, I feel, from my XMG. It feels like we're watching a mix rather than a team. And we are. Yeah. So, you know, can't be too harsh on them. Very true. Um difficult to really see how they can uh, 
pull this one back even in this early stage. I mean, it, it's a mildly CT bias map. Uh, it's an 8-7 or a 9-6 game in terms of CTs. They're 6-2 down, and they're on the CT side, so this doesn't bode well for them. They went out in the first round last week as well in cup number one. Uh, very disappointing. And they, they pretty much are the only British team that are qualified so far. If I think memory serves me, they are the only team from Britain, mm -hmm. uh, from the UK, that have qualified for the two cups so far. So, very disappointing showing from the Brits right now. Let's just see what they can do on uh, an eco bar, the one save day K of cause now. And Refuse playing this one nicely. Just sitting back. Four men sitting mid right now. Kassan has taken a little bit of damage. And here they go. Refuse pushing in towards quad. Got three men into that area. There is one who's sneaked back from balcony right now. And I wonder if they might catch him out. And actually they have. He's just underneath balcony. And Kors does pick up one in there. I'm sorry, Powell picks up one. Kors comes back round and gets the AK kill on a second. And now it's a three versus one. Kors on his own here. He might as well go for this. Won't be on the save for the next round anyway, he's already kept an AK. And he's got Emmy down to what? A few points of health. He's got another one in here! Kaz oh, Kazad! Well, Kazad went down, and then Refuse managed to pick up that final kill on Caused in the end. But that was a bit of a nuisance for him for a while. Caused playing really well. Top of the team, as far as he's concerned, with 7 and 6. But Refuse, solid as rocks. Nice anti-eco from them that round. They lead 7-2. Yeah, some two team refuse really building up here, and they're a team that went out in the first round as well, down to the finish four W, I believe. The uh, another shaky start for refuse, so it's nice to see them actually building up a touch and getting into this, and looking like they're quite comfortable. Their execution's been very nice. It's been, you know, well executed to this point. The shots have been landing, and the afterplants have been fairly clinical. So can't knock them yet, but uh, very much controlling the pace at the moment. One minute. And ten seconds on the board. Y and K keeping hold of the bomb this time. Just gonna lay that off down banana, I can imagine. And wait for that opening pick. Smoke down by quad, my XMG rotating around accordingly. Another very slow round this time. Well, there goes the Molotov. That could be a bit of a time to start making the push happen. Y and K looks like he's biting at the bit. Rattlesnake down to sixty six. The rest of the T side are looking towards A. Only leaving KGR by B. Trying to split the attention as much as possible. I do believe it is go time. First frag does go to refuse. With only 27 seconds remaining, Rattlesnake is down. Powell now a little bit worried. You can tell why the T side are now coming. Cause found quickly through CT, CT Arch. Lovely shot from EMI. Red Snake goes down following, and KGR okay. executes Powell. As now Zed is the only man standing in a 1v3. And he's got the first. He's taken down EMI, so it was a 1v4. But after plant situations are working rather in favour to the refuse boys. But maybe Zed can buck the trend. I don't think so. And uh, I think he's feeling that one as well. Going to back away as much as he can, but KGR on his heels. Looking to take him down. Only expect Zed up here, though. <laughs> ah, yes, he does. Lovely shot coming in from KGR, finishing that one out. And Team Refuse hold on to a rather firm lead. And there's very little that I feel my XMG can do. They're being worked down as a mix by a team. And they're feeling the pain of that. Mm. Yeah, it's, uh, it's disappointing so far. Um... I was going to try and, you know, pull something positive out for them. <laughs> wasn't really a lot I'm you could have said. I'm struggling. Yeah, struggling a little bit. I mean, uh, I think Cause has played really well for a couple of rounds. Uh, Royal Snake had uh, just the one really, really good round with a triple mm. in it. Uh, bar that, it's not really been a lot to write home about. It's 8 2, and Refuse are in full control right now of this first round game. If you're just tuning in, welcome to the Raid Court EMS 1 full cut number 2. And Refuse now. Just uh, slowly and systematically picking off the MyXMG players who are showing themselves in 1v1s and don't have the weapons right now. They are literally sitting there with a mixture of uh, well, P250s at the moment and a Deagle for Rattlesnake. There's uh, it's a blast from the past. And uh, Powell will actually do some good work over at Pit to get himself one. 
So now trying to drop into the bottom here. Uh, Rattlesnake is dropped. Uh, Zed does get himself one. He will be the last man standing again. Uh, it tends to happen in mixes, and I'm only just saying that, I'm not saying that they're doing this, but in mixes, when you're the last mm. man standing three rounds in a row, you tend to get called a beta. And if you do it four rounds in a row, you're called a master beta. Does it happen to you a lot? Do you a lot? Yeah. No. I didn't even want to make a joke out of that one. <laughs> All right. I'm trying to behave, and you don't make I'm it just, easy. I'm just leading you astray. 3v1 right now, <laughs> and uh, refuse are about to make this 9-2 with the kill from YNK confirmed. And I don't see a way back right now for my XMG. I really don't. See, the thing for me is right now, I'd love to work out the percentage of the opening kill going to Team Refuse. Every single time, it seems that Don't does manage to get that one opening kill, no matter where it is, whether he pushes up at B, whether he works through apartments, time and time again, he's the one to get the opening and then force the hand of the opposition. And I want to see if he does it again, because every single time it seems as though it's him just kind of working out the opposition, this time being knocked down to 51 HP, so maybe not going to be able to do it this time, but did look towards B, but two of the CT players did go a little bit aggressive, so try and switch up a bit here, but then again, mixed team, not funny or easy, oh, but Rattlesnake, hello. lovely bit of red on the play there, did just manage to peer out mid, now Red Snake joins in, takes down YNK, Cassad though, quickly into the action, not actually land the shot there for Rattlesnake. It's a bit of a surprise. It normally is like a little bit of a rail gun in that man's hands. Quickly taken out by KGR. Bomb now will go down. Caused and Zed hot on the scene though. Cause oh. gets in. Denies oh. the plant. Takes down Kassad. KGR the next target. Oh, he got the tag but didn't get any. Well, he didn't even get the tag. I thought he had that one then. Anyway, 1v2. Zed now has to pick up where his teammate left off. and He's oh, done that perfectly. Lovely shot on KGR. 1v1. Oh, go on, go, go for, for it. it, go for it, oh go for it, go word. for it, go for it, go for it, go for it. Full the fuse, this could actually pay off if he does, and he does! Oh my word, Zed, you have balls of steel, I will give you that. You do go down at the oh. end, but he got the defuse, three to nine. Oh my goodness. Wow. Uh, yeah, sometimes, you know, when you go for the fake like he did originally, and then you just go straight back to it. They think, no way. Yeah, they're like, oh, that's double. That's a double fake. They're just, they're just trying to fake me out. But he was nowhere near that one, so really well played, For sure. nicely done, and a third round on the board. And those of you that believed, well, well done for you for uh, sticking with the team. My XMG putting a third round on the board from the 12 so far. They do need a few more if they're going to get anything out of this game, though, uh, for when they switch over. And right now, causes causing absolute mayhem at the top of Banana. He's already picked up two. Red Snake will pick up a third here in mid, and they're dropping like flies now right now. Refuse absolutely shut down. Zed gets the final kill. And my XMG, when they win a round, they win again. It's 9-4. Yeah, impressive stuff. Once again, when they get the opening kill, they can start working out the opposition. First time it was Rattlesnake in that round before last. Then it was Kors going a little bit aggressive down Banana. So when they kind of start building that up, it really starts to pay off for them, and clearly what they need to be doing more of. But hopefully they don't get too aggressive and kind of buy into it a little bit too much there, because they could be called out. We've seen Refuse playing very slowly. They've played it down to the last 20 seconds. But right now, it seems as though Mike's from G are going very aggressive. Look where Rattlesnake is. Look where the rest are. Pal now joins in. Lovely little crossfire. They need oh. to make it pay off. Bit of a shaky shot, but he makes up with it for the second. Taking down KGR and YNK. Leaving only Cassad and Don't standing. Red Snake lays oh. in wait. Nice connection onto Cassad. And now Don't, the last man standing in a 1v3. Pretty much alone in apartments, but to bed by Rattlesnake. Beautiful shot coming in. Opening kill, bit of aggression, holding the pace, seems to pay off for the MyXMG side. Call on it now, I tell you. Uh, three in a row, someone's had a word with the boys. Uh, wouldn't surprise me if that word was uh, coming from Rattlesnake either. So 9-5, <laughs> and if this is 9-6 at the end, that's not that bad. It's still not great, but it's not bad. Uh, considering, oh, nice little nade down mid has done a whole ton of damage. Uh, not made any difference to refuse, though. They've dropped one. They couldn't get the second, though. And now my XMG are just piling through them. They've picked up three quick kills. It's now a three versus two. And now refuse have to win this round and make it 10-5. They've been so dominant in this first half. Remember, it was 9-2. And suddenly, 9-6 would not look like the kind of dominance that you would have expected from them to c continue, Aww. but now double from Angel at the top of Banana has now reversed the fortunes of Refuse. They now have a two versus one. Red Snake now the last man alive. Now where's the bomb going? It looks like it's going to go mid uh, via quad to A. And Red Snake has also gone the same route. It's almost like he can hear us from Germany. Plant put down. 
Amy and Angel remaining. One in pit, one set up on site. Standard. Red Snake spots one. Uh, Flash will come down. Didn't do any damage. Uh, didn't do any uh, blindness to him. And now waiting. Emmy does spy in now. Coming under fire here. This is going to be a big ass for Mike XMG. He's not going to be able to get in there. Angel locks him down. And half time gives us a 10 5 lead to refuse. But a little bit of fight in there from my XMG. Yeah, when they started getting aggressive, it was incredible stuff. Lovely play between them. It, it looked as though they were a good team. And I've got to say, though, to KGR in that last round, picking up four was the reason they got that. The first frag, yes, it did go to Don't again. That guy picked it up, but that's because they went aggressive on Banana. They quickly you know, went into the slightly lighter bolt refuse, and they worked it back. But that time, KGR took it all on his shoulders and put him all the way through. But 10-5 to 5 doesn't really reflect how much refuse were keeping the dominance in this, I feel. I feel as though it could have been a lot more one-sided I, I agree. There. I th I th I'm, I'm almost tempted to say that, it, it, that probably Refuse is sitting there thinking, how did we end up 10-5? Ten ten five. Five. Yeah. It really should have been 13-2, 12-3, something like that. And then we would have probably been GG almost mm. uh, from the pistol rounds. But we've switched over. Uh, my XMG have not gone down just yet, but they do need a pistol round. If they've ever needed one, it's now a stunning headshot from YNK on Rattlesnake, and he will be feeling that one. They've boosted one up inside the covered site here, and they've made a four-man push round through Arch and in towards Library right now. Let's just see if they can pick up another kill here. It's a 5v4. Zeb will pick up the kill on Y and K. That's leveled things back up again. Caused back in on Emmy 3v4. Literally picking off one player at a time. But look at this. It's almost like, is this T-spawn over here? No, it's CT-spawn. How on earth did they get there? Red Snake and Pal both picking up a frag apiece. And now Cassad is the lonely Lone Ranger on his own. And he's somehow also over by CT-spawn and Arch, right? <laughs> I think he's going to spy one. Is he? Oh, he spied, he spotted him late. And he has been tagged a little bit. He's now dropped by Red Snake. And that's a really well-worked round from my XMG. They've pulled it back to 10-6. And they've potentially got another couple in a row to come. Yeah, and by all accounts, it should go to 8-10. That's the important thing here. These guys now have the advantage of that money. They have the momentum, and they've kind of bucked the trend of Refuse really leading the pace by making their way through CT Arch. Then it's a little bit of rubbing the salt in the wound. That's a brilliant start for them. But let's see what they have in store this round. So, taking their time, two down Banana, and the rest through mid. Refuse might have something in plan. They know they're against a team with at least a you know, varying amount of weapons. So it's all about that read of play. So that 3 2 split now amalgamating into 4. Red Snake gets the first. KGR falls to his hand as well. Red Snake doing absolute wonders here. My XMG is doing what they need. And I, I can't help but you know support the underdog. It's, it's uh, my biggest flaw, I've got to say it. And my XMG reading that well, get themselves over to B. They've opened up the site. It's time to get the bomb down. Y and K quickly into construction, though. Cassad's done the damage to Zed. Red Snake making it onto the hat trick, though, I do believe. Rattlesnake denying the ace and the. Possible four man there taking out EMI, but now Cassad in a 1v4. Little to no chance here. And, and a well played round from the MyXMG side. As long as they don't lose more players, as long as they don't play sloppy, let's get that money built up. Let's start building that momentum. Let's not play sloppy, let's play as tightly as we can here and play it out smart. That's what we need. Rattlesnake is kind of edging in. Cassad has got the shot off. And every frag he gets, he's building up that money. He's building, you know, a little bit less money for the opposition. And he needs to kind of play this one correctly because these guys are dying to prove a point. And Red Snake going to leap in there as well with that uh, nice little bees onto hand. Takes him out quite easily. And we will be seeing Red Snake get himself for that round. So individual talent. Nothing to be sneered at coming from the MyXMG side. The execution lacking slightly. Maybe because Critical is not here. The team leader for the uh, T side right normally. But, you know, Rattlesnake's just as good. So we are seeing uh, another eco coming in from the CT side. Clearly not racking up enough funds or getting the confidence in to really go for that early buy. Very unlikely on the CT half anyway. But uh, let's have a look to what we're in for this round. A little bit of a different start coming in from the T's. Not that much presence down Banana earlier on. And the odds going to bide their time. 
Rattlesnake's MG don't need to rush this. They don't want to lose this one at all. But uh, a little bit of aggression coming in from Refuse early on. Rattlesnake bats them back. That's EMI down. And now Casa goes prowling through the apartments to find the bees on again, of course. There's now 5v2 situation. The My XMG side are doing really well here. Yes, uh, I'm back, by the way. Uh, I just stepped away just to have a chat with our technical guy and see whether we could get anything fixed. Unfortunately, the bad news is uh, there's nothing we can do this evening, so uh, we're just going to have to put up with the uh, weird sounds on one side of your speaker for me and one side of the other for uh, for Pansy, unfortunately. Uh, but 8.10 in the game. Uh, and as I said, we are sorry about the sound issues. We no, will try and fix I things. Do um, and we are in Studio 4 once more, so hopefully next week we'll be back downstairs in 3 or 2. Uh, where it's a produced show as well down there. We don't have the facilities to do They don't upstairs. trust us with important they buttons. They don't, don't trust us with any of the buttons <laughs> downstairs. I think this Tim, is what happens when they do. T Tim would kill me. Yeah, this is basically why. Uh, so yeah, apologies for the sound issues, but there is nothing we can do. And if you could collectively help us out by telling people that moan about it in the Twitch chat, that would be very, very nice of you, uh, so that we don't have to keep mentioning it and uh, talking about it. And I'm also sorry to the guy that's listening in mono, who only hears you <laughs> and doesn't hear he's, anything for a he's round. He's having a great time. Every, every, if he doesn't like every you, other round, he really well, enjoys this. Every other round, there's nothing from him. There's nothing until he just gets game sounds. And then <laughs> the next round, he gets you. So uh, apologies to him for listening in mono. I don't even know why that's possible still in <laughs> 2013. But nevertheless, let's go back to the game. It's there is a lot of dust on four this. right now. And uh, there's two men inside the ye oldie boiler room with no boiler in there anymore. And they uh, pop out into quad. Rattlesnake waiting for something to show. And, uh, well, he gets a, a, a pixel. Inside pit, but not enough to land any damage. And Incendiary about to be unleashed towards Quad. That's going to slow them down a little bit more, and they really can't afford to be slowed down. There's 20 seconds remaining. Got to make a move right now. Here comes Rattlesnake. Gets one. Y&K, though, just unleashes the spray and picks up a double. Zed and Quad's come back, and we've now got a two versus two. Plant's got to go down here. 10 seconds remaining. And Caused does get it done in the corner by the box. Now, difficult one to diffuse if they're going to go straight on from the arch side. They're going to get full. I thought they were going to get dropped by Caused, but no. It's worked out really well and Refuse now have a double man inside that bombsite. They're only with one point of health. They are going to drop the final man though. Zed hits the deck and the Diffuse will come in and Refuse win their first gun round of the second half. They now lead 11-8, but this is still a very close game. Yeah, bear in mind the T-side did manage to take down three CTs there. They did get a bomb plant. It was a little bit sloppy once they got the bomb down. There was no crossfire set up. I feel as though the peak was a little bit hap-handed. And they may have just kind of let that go into refuse favor. But then again, maybe these guys aren't quite in tune yet. We get treated to watching the very best of the best playing time and time again. So it's... Maybe we're over-expecting a lot of these situations. But then again, my XMG certainly have the caliber of players to... Uh, to step up when it matters, but anyway, the finan financial situation not really hitting the T side just yet. Still looking okay there for money. They've done enough work in the first couple to be sitting okay, whereas Refuse on a bit of an invested round, bar KGR. Anyway, let's have a look to see how this one pans out. Maybe not as slow as last time. Maybe playing it a little bit less down to the wire. Caused has caught the first with Williams. Finding Cassad, the man who's always been able to undo the MyXMG side. And now YNK springs in to try and you know, pick up the missing spot almost towards that A site. So you do see three players there, whereas only one by B. Let's see if this is going to pay off. And they are looking like they still want to go here, my XMG. They are running that clock down, but they have allowed YNK to peer through. Lovely <laughs> shot coming back in from Rattlesnake, though. Pixel perfect there. And now a little uh, back and forth by B, still going down. But bear in mind, the bomb is not here. There's only one player dancing, and he's now joining the rest of his team. As Rattlesnake peers through towards that A site, checking towards CT, checking library, nothing there. He spotted KG. Oh, oh, it was a little bit of a fake one coming out there. <laughs> he did manage to get, take down Pal. Zed quickly finds it back, and now they've gained access to A. Will they expect another player? Well, it doesn't matter. He might just stand out. What was he out. doing there? Yeah, was was he waiting for a bus? He might have been in it. Well, he certainly found it. Anyway, last man will fall to the hand of Rattlesnake. Nicely played out round there by the T side. Taking their time, but that time they felt as though they got the correct frags. They focused it down nicely. They didn't kind of go in dribs and drabs, and they deserved that round on the board. So 11-9, and my XMG do hold on to this. Be uh, not unbelievable, but a little unusual if they won this from behind on the tougher side. 
So far, so good in this second half. Five rounds down, they've won four of them. Two men on banana, one sitting at mid, two in second mid right now, so that 2-1-2 two, two split and Rattlesnake again starting to show us why he is such a good author. Oh. Uh, and then Angel dropped by Red Snake at the top of Banana. They've got a 5v3. They've got choices here. Uh, they know they've only got one man remaining over A, but they're going to pick the B site anyway. That's weird, but okay, that's fine. Uh, I guess they've got power here. They know the other team are on an eco, so yeah, not a big deal. Uh, and they kill picked up from Red Snake after a little bit of damage done by Rattlesnake. And this should be straightforward now. Bomb's about to be planted. And Kassad will now be the last man alive on an eco. Small problem here, mate. You've got five men to find and no guns. Jeremy, what happens? Wow, scoreline is getting a little bit close. 10 to 11. Bearing in mind at the half, this was all refuses game. They lost the pistol. And now the scoreline has been brought right back up to them. And I've got to say, the execution, even on the gun rounds for my XMG, has been pretty impressive to this point. But once again, they're going to be tested here. So I do believe the Refuse are back on the bite. They are going to go for that nice little boost, sitting at the back there to try and watch the push through. I know you like to show them this one, don't you? There we go, a little bit of free cam going whoa, on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Where are you? Do you whoa, whoa. know this map, GPS, sir? map, GPS. There we Sat -nav. go. Yeah, there so, sat at the back there. He will have a chance to take down anyone who pushes towards A. And it's not a bad read. Generally, my XMG on the gun versus gun runs, they have been looking towards here, faking out B for a while. But the vast majority of their focus has been towards A. Well, let's see if they go for it this time. No opening kill quickly. We do see a couple of uh, famuses amongst the CT side. So, not a full investment or full buy, let's just say for now. With one minute left. They're going to have to dig in deep because we know that my XMG do like to play right down to the wire. They've played down to the last 20 seconds before and it failed parlously, but they've started to learn. 50 seconds remain. And they're still kind of me meandering around mid, you know, down the bottom of Banana, Red Snake up Banana. There's no real commitment here yet. They're just waiting for their moment. A couple of flashes has been put through. And oh, they are actually looking towards B this time, so a little bit of a difference now coming out. One player left by A. You can see the rest of the CT side are trying to rotate around. Caused getting a little bit tanked up. KGR finding Red Snake first, though. Oh, lovely double coming in from Don't, and beautiful shot from KGR connecting onto Rattlesnake perfectly. And I can kind of see why they haven't been pushing B. They just got completely bottlenecked in and leaving only Zed alive. 1v5. He's got a little bit more hope than maybe Kassan did in the last round, but it's not going to be an easy task at all. And uh, with nine seconds remaining, I think it's time to get the hell out of there, Zed, and try and look towards the next one, because that just went awfully. Mm. Yeah, that was uh, that was not good for my XMG. But no, it wasn't, you know, it wasn't a tactical error. I mean, you know, they just got shot down by a couple of players who were in the right place at the right time with the right shot. So it's worked out okay for them in the second half. I wouldn't be changing up too much right now. It's 12-10. And XMG now in the throes of. Well, actually, money wise, they're okay. Just Rattlesnake and Powell are a little short of cash. But uh, Rattlesnake has been buying AWP, so no surprise there. Uh, I'm going to boost again. And it's a double boost as well. They've got one on top of Quad and one on top of uh, CT Arch Balcony. And I haven't needed them yet, really. Now, what's this from my XMG? This looks like a Whitehall push, you know. Two up there already. Oh, they haven't pushed just yet, though. No. One's going to drop down into Boiler. Rattlesnake edging ever so close now. Now, that's been slowed down, hasn't it? That's going to stop the push there for sure. And again, these two boosted up high, and they've got an extra man at Quad here, so three men waiting, and here they come, out towards top mid, he's going to drop down, he's going to drop down to his death, is uh, YNK as well, they've got another man on the top, and they haven't spotted him, Emmy, oh, does pick up the first kill, and will make it a 4v3, now that slowed them right down now, now there's confusion, 30 seconds remaining, three men top mid, still looking, on top of Quad, top of the other balcony, they, they should be rotating, and they are going to rotate, well done, that's exactly what they should be doing right now, they know that they stacked the covered site. 
but are they going to have the pace to get over here quickly now? I don't think they are. They're going to lose one. Uh, Red Snake does reply back. It's now a two versus three, and there is smoke deployed in there. Now, they threw that one over really nicely. It's covered that walkway perfectly. Oh, through the smoke headshot from Emmy, and now it's a two, three v one, and Cause surely can't pull this one off all on his own. Can't get the first one either, and that will be another round to refuse. And well, you have to say the boosts worked out for them in that round. They picked up the two kills at the top of mid. It caused confusion with the smoke. They slowed them down even more with 30 seconds remaining. Forced the rotation, read it perfectly, shut them down. They're, they're reading my XMG perfectly. You can see their comfort zone generally has been A. They started stacking it, they stuck with it, and they rotate quickly, as you mentioned. So they can even cover off B when they have to. Yeah. Maybe help a little bit by that shot through the smoke, but still, they're, they're doing extremely well. Yeah. So let's see. I, well, I uh, think that the key thing is, you were right, is that they have gone A most of the time on their successful round. So Refuse have to do something about that, and they've, done, they've dealt with it by a double stack. It, it's brave as well, obviously, at this point, because this is a best of one, bear in mind. With MyXMG building up that confidence, it's a little bit of a risky investment in, in some aspects, but they pulled it off, and now maybe they're looking to switch up three players by A for the T side this time, two by B, but still, similar similar start, and oh, Rattlesnake's in a great position, steps away, he's got the first gun of the second, he claims that easily, he makes that look so simple, and now B is all there. Sadly, the bomb is nowhere to be found, but maybe, just maybe, this man right here will read the situation carefully and understand that there may be a stack from Refuse towards A, so he's going to push around straight away to kind of cover off the rotate that will be happening. So, YNK prowling around with that orb, looking for an easy way to get back into this, not going to happen that easily. I believe it will be Zed left to catch the rotate. He's in a little bit of an interesting position. The rest of the guys have now situated themselves by B. And CT side looking like they don't even want to go near this one right now. And I do not blame them at all. Kassad getting out of there. Y and K hiding away as well. You can see Zed on the minimap just kind of peering around trying to find a way in. Maybe deny a couple of weapons. Oh, he has found a few actually. His red snake has <laughs> found a couple. He's in a little bit of trouble. Kassad being spotted there. Getting a couple of shots off. I'm going to drop out the nade, no connection though. But the rest of the T-Side has now got at least an idea, and Zed being the first on the scene, finding Y and K. And you can see Red Snake is pushing in for the exit kill onto Kassad. It'll be a nice little bit of a denying of weaponry, and he's done just that. And keeping my XMG in this very well executed route, I feel as though Rattlesnake once again making that happen more than anyone. Really important point there. My XMG didn't lose a single man. So nicely stacked now with cash. Have a little bit of momentum as well. Momentum. I don't know where that one went, so they changed into Bruce Forsyth for a moment. And uh, it's now only 13-11, and, and we've always said this in the past, it's fine getting to 15 rounds, it's that 16th, it's always the toughest one yep. to convert and refuse. They aren't even there just yet. And they're already starting to come undone a little bit. They were 9-2 up, remember. And of the last 13 rounds, my XMG have won 9 of them. Really has turned completely around. And yes, I do know about the sound <laughs> issues. I like the one that says it feels like you're sitting in between us, which I'd kind of like, just yeah. a random person. Yeah, you're just turning your head in between us having a coffee. That's what you're actually doing right now. <laughs> uh, we know about the sound issues. We cannot fix them. We will improve the game sounds uh, for the next map, but are not able to do anything about the uh, audio in the left and right this evening. Unfortunately, it's a hardware technical issue that is impossible to solve right now but we will of course investigate that overnight and see if we can fix it for tomorrow meanwhile back to the game 13 11 35 seconds remaining and team refuse leading 13 11 they really need this one to stop my xmg gaining even more momentum they will pick up one it's a one for one. Oh, this is dangerous from kassad oh it's going to be a triple from him in pit perfectly placed and YNK now will wait on site for Pound to shape up. He's got 15 seconds to show himself. No chance of getting into this bomb site right now. Unless he makes a runner for it. There's seven, six. He's not going to go anywhere near the bomb site. He's going to save this one. And he's going to be lucky to get away with his life and his gun. And in fact, he is just about going to survive by the end of the round. So 14-11 now to refuse. And Mike's MG. What a big round that was, Pansy, because they win that one. It's 13-12. Yep. Refuser then on an eco, and you're looking at 13-all, right?
and lose I, the round and there's a three round difference again and refuse need just two more. That's the interesting part and the thing that gets me is I feel like that was a lack of communication from the MyXMG side to allow Kassad to do that. To not only get the opening kill when they knew they got the other player in pit, that's them not reading the actual scoreboard. That's them not communicating there's another player there. And that could be just infuriating the side. We know that Rouse Nate's got a temper. We know that most of the UK scene has a temper, to say the very least. So them kind of building up again frustrated. Have you, been, have you been mixing with me recently? No, I just oh. kind of know CS as a whole. I think everyone kind of knows that one. Okay. Don't worry, I'm not that invested. But uh, we are just going to see if these guys can find their way back in. And I feel as though my XMG do have a little bit of a rocky road now. And uh, EMI certainly enjoying that fact. Taking down cause first of all. Refuse now just holding firm. They're one round away from getting themselves to that comfortable 15th marker. Now they know that they can't lose it. They can only draw if needs must. So, EMI getting another. And apparently Autodirus is like, no, that's not interesting. Right no. now, flashes. They're what mm. you want to see. Yep. They are damn awesome. There's yeah, another. Then. Look at that. Ooh, off a wall. Welcome to Flash TV. That's that's a little bit... That's a different kind of TV Move show. On. Anyway, two remain now for my XMG. We've seen none of these kills. Maybe get a little treat to one. KGR will take down Rattlesnake and get another. So, power will fall quickly and that will hand that almost final round, that kind of nail in the coffin towards Refuse. Yeah, uh, it's uh, it's now and ever for my XMG. Uh, money not looking particularly good. I think Rattlesnake and Caused are going to be... Uh, Oh, it's a deagle for Rattlesnake. I'm not sure what cause picked up, if anything, but he has got a full complement of uh, flashes and a smoke. So he's going to be the tactical guy. It's all he could afford to buy. They've got three AKs amongst them. And this is going to be a tall order. It's going to be even taller now. Zed's damaged heavily. 42 health lost already. Thanks to that grenade down mid. Uh, YK's going to back away. And a triple comes in. There's four. They're dropping like flies so quickly. I can't even get to them. Rattlesnake hits the deck as the fifth man alive. And he will be... The last man shot down by Refuse. It's a 16-11 win in the end. And uh, I have to say, that was pretty straightforward in the end for Refuse. But yes. I like the fact that even though XMG had a vital player missing tonight in the, in the form of Critical, yep. uh, that Rattlesnake was able to step in there. And for a while at least, in the mid-game, they looked pretty useful. No, certainly. He kind of claimed them a couple of rounds. That push towards, I believe it was B, yep. was completely by his hand. They, he, he got them a good couple of rounds. Maybe not necessarily how much Critical could have done, being in his own team, being the leader within his own lineup. Yeah, yeah. But you know, he did well, but it's sadly, once again, not enough. They let mm. rounds go they shouldn't have. Situations that just good communication would have allowed you to have, after plant situations that they should have taken, or even retaking sites. If they had that little bit more kind of cohesion, I feel as though they'll be a very good team, but mm. they didn't have that today. And Refuse showed some brilliant indiv individual talent. Kassad yep. was insane. Great. Yep, absolutely. Uh, okay, we are going to take a quick break. We'll try and fix the volume issues with huh. the game sounds, if nothing else. Uh, but we can't fix the whole whoa, 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 whoa uh, out of the uh, earphone issue, mm. unfortunately. It's sad. I'm, I'm disappointed we can't yeah. do that. Uh, it is an that's, annoyance. That's a hardware issue. Hardware yeah. issue. Uh, so we can't do much about that. Certainly we need not. someone cleverer than, than us to fix it. I hope you enjoyed the first game. We'll be back very shortly with game number two. We don't know what it's going to be just yet because we're waiting on results from the round one. So if you want to check them out, go to csgo.raycall-ems1.com or just follow the links to Twitter and you can do at EMS Raycall1 or Raycall EMS1 or on Facebook Raycall EMS1. Yeah. Wherever you want to go. Or we'll you can just nag us in the Twitch chat. We'll talk to you as well uh, <laughs> during the break. But we'll take a quick break. And when we come back, game number two of the Raycourt EMS1 Full Cup number two will be here. <laughs> 